Right. Joining us now, ladies and gentlemen, in the 845 block of the show for our evening Monday night uh, mock draft is Matt Perino from NY Up and the Shout Podcast. How are you doing today, Matt? What is up, boys? How are you on this fine Monday evening? You know what? Doing We're, good, man. I, we, we just got done having a heated conversation about how much I would be livid if the Buffalo Bills took a three-tech defensive tackle and that's uh loki uh i kind of tricked you onto this podcast because i wanted to have a little conversation before this mock draft with you about three tech because i saw you tweeting about a guy from the university of washington in uh levi and i'm gonna butcher this name i know you've you've mastered it uh on on wuzurike mm -hmm. is that is that is that how you pronounce it yes i think so you you really think that the buffalo bills have him in that 30 range is that correct no, 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 that wasn't me. Uh, I um, I tweeted that it would be a dream scenario if they landed um, an interior defensive lineman at 61, which Todd McShay had them going. And that was in a scenario where they took who I have as like probably my top target for the Bills in Jalen Phillips at 30. Um, and as we get closer to the draft here, like if you asked me two weeks ago, I would have said Phillips is probably, you know, they'd have to move up too far to get him. But as we move closer, I'm not sure if it's smoke or what because it's smoke season, but it seems like there's a couple of things that are kind of trickling in here that maybe his stock is falling a little bit. Um, I'm not sure that there's any one edge that isn't hasn't experienced some type of stock drop, at least a, a minor one over the course of the last two or three weeks. I think it's just everybody's bored and there was no combine. Yeah, it seems that way. I mean, like Quiddy was kind of up there in the top 15 consensusly mm -hmm. now he's kind of fallen down into that bills range um and matt on that one on the on the defensive tackle thing at 61 i mean steve and i were talking about this like we were all about like looking for these big fatties these one techs and like there's been a lot of conversation and scouting and games watched that the bills have looked like they've been mostly talking to guys that really fit more of the three tech mold so what are you where do you come out on this sort of debate as to what is the bigger need for the Bills right now? Because obviously we have Ed Oliver there at, at the starting three tech. Well, I mean, the thing with this regime is they're so puzzling. You guys were talking about it a little bit. I, I caught a little bit of before I came on because you would have thought last year, I agree with you, Steve, like there was a definite need for a true one technique. And we've seen it now play out. In the last couple of months, the most recent thing we saw, you know, Quentin Jefferson voicing his displeasure there, that they wouldn't even weren't willing to go out and just take a chance on somebody, which even going back to the regular season, I thought was puzzling. I mean, you, you spend a top 10 draft pick on Ed Oliver and then you in his second year have him lining up at nose tackle. I understand it was a messed up season. And, mm -hmm. you know, Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott, they haven't done a lot of things wrong necessarily in, in their time in Buffalo. But I think, you know, it was kind of a disservice to Ed Oliver in, in a little bit of way. And he never came out and said it. Obviously, Jefferson said it after he was out the door. But I think that, you know, one of the things that they probably went back and looked at is, all right, first of all, we can't really rely on Harrison to be that one technique, or at least, you know, Harrison's such an interesting side story to talk about because I don't think we've really seen enough to evaluate him because from everybody I've talked to, like medical experts uh, in the league, you know, there was no chance that Phillips was going to be really right last year. So the best tape that you saw in Harrison Phillips last year is likely not going to even come close to the best tape that you'll see in 2022, 21, because you just need time to, especially a second time like that. So I, I'm with you guys. I, I think one tech, I would, I would much rather them pursue that, you know, day two, middle of the draft, then go after a, a three technique, unless you can find a guy that fits your scheme. Eric Washington is all in. You can, he can do a little bit of both, maybe flip them back and forth, which I'm not sure you guys would know better than me. I think Barmore can do a little bit of that, mm -hmm. but you got to also ask yourself a question. Do you want that type of guy now? Do you, don't you have all those guys on the roster already and maybe you want a specific like that's why you went out and paid star latule all that money and you're banking on him come well you don't really have the choice but to bank on him because you're paying him but he's coming back and you need him to be the guy that he was in carolina in 2015 and and at times over the course of his bills career and if he's not that yeah go out and try to find a guy that can maybe be that and maybe that's a guy on the on the open market i mean uh don terry poe is a guy that 
I'm not sure if they kicked the tires on him last year. Who knows where his physicality or what his phys- physique's at and conditioning and all that kind of stuff coming off of that Dallas flame out. But there's a bunch of tires that can be kicked. And if not, address it in the draft. Yeah, I mean, it seems to me like they tried, you know, they wanted to kind of put Phillips in that role. They tried with Vernon Butler a little bit and then didn't really go over too well. So it seems like they're trying, but it just seems like they keep swinging and missing. So we'll see. They got to uh, take a happens. real swing at it this time around, though. I feel like it's just been patchwork. You know, they're just like, oh, you know, this guy could do a little bit of one tech, but we're not grabbing that true one tech. And we need to do at Oliver that service and not perpetuate mm-hmm. this habit. I mean, the only problem with that is, like we were saying, is stars all you've got, right? And he's gonna be here for the next two years because of the I contract. Agree. Like he's yeah. guaranteed, he's definitely gonna be here in twenty one, most likely 100%. also in twenty twenty two. Um, so are they willing to put it to draft a guy now that may not even really see significant playing time until twenty twenty three? Yeah, yeah possibly. That's the issue. I, I I don't know. Yeah. yeah.